Welcome to another 3D Doodle with Ono from Ram from onovomram.com. Today we're gonna create this coffee mug or something similar, something simple, but well, there's still some some techniques in there which you can use almost every day. So we'll start out obviously with cylinder. What else? Just gonna ballpark it. I don't know, something like this. Just do whatever. 16. Always a nice number. Start at the top and create the hole in it. So use inset. And then extrude. It doesn't really matter which direction, in or out. You just have to do it. You move it inwards. Oh, I see. I made it a little bit. More square. Yes! Look at that. Fantastic. This is amazing. We could almost stop here. It's so good. So, do the same at the bottom. Another inset. Move that a little up. Another inset. And collapse that. Collapse. So, now for the handle. That's basically the difficult part. Let's draw a line. Let's let's do something fancy. We like. Ooh. Wow, that's horrible. Well, let's let's delete this and then something like that and then something like that and all right. So we'll select all the polygons. We're gonna slice that stuff up. Slice, slice. So let's say somewhere around here, around there. We're also slicing the inside, but who cares? Polygons are free. We can make as many as we want. Whoop. So there we go. So now for the fancy bit. Mm, let's see how wide is this thing? It's not that wide. So let's do yes. I'm gonna make this a little flatter, and this one too. And I'm gonna use the extrude long spline, but not before we rotate this thing by twelve and a half, probably twelve. So let's see. It's how many degrees? It's three hundred and sixty divided by twelve by. Uh, 360 divided by 16, so it's 11. 11 degrees. Well, it's not perfect, doesn't matter. So now we select this one, and we'll use the extrude long spline. Extrude long spline, clickety click. Pick this one, yes. A little more segments, more, 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 more. Fantastic. That's that, and let's delete this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and then that one, and then we're gonna bridge them. So we're gonna select these edges, and these ones, as you can see, and then let's hope it works. I sometimes does it, and the orientation is not the same. So we'll bridge this one and then do the other three. That should work. Yes. So we're almost there. Turbo smooth. Uh, it's pretty good, but could be a little bit better. So how are we going to make it better? Gonna make this a little up and then a little down. Same here. Move a little up and a little down. And then we're gonna. Uh, quick, quick, quick! We only got 10 YouTube minutes! Da, yes! And I increase some iterations. Okay. Well. Hey, it's actually completely different, but that's because I wanted. And, and more like ear-shaped, 
here instead of this oval one I don't like that so we're gonna make it still a little bit more square well, that's a little bit too much no let's just keep it this way that's it a little connecting a little chamfering a little turbo smooth a little bridge just important things that you use all the time when modeling I hope you enjoyed it more soon bye bye for now